ADD, it's infected and affected almost everyone. From in this room, across the Coachella Valley, throughout the whole United States, you're not only a victim, but you're a perpetrator. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a DVR? Why do you use a DVR? Well, obviously, you use it to record what you want to watch, when you want to watch it. But, you know, just for convenience, that's not all. Let me ask you something. Do you read the newspaper? Do you take the newspaper? Maybe you used to take the newspaper. But now, to find the time to enjoy it, just sit down and read it from cover to cover or from end to end, is almost impossible. How about when it comes to listening to your radio in your car? Do you listen to a satellite or do you listen to a local station? My point being is we all suffer from ADD. Because, let's go back to that DVR. You use that DVR so that you can not only watch what you want to watch, when you want to watch it, but it's because you don't want to watch things you don't want to watch. Those are the commercials. The same thing when you're going through the newspaper. You're only interested in the headlines. You don't have time to go through the whole thing. And hey, let's face it, when you're in your car and a commercial comes on, what do you do? You change the station. Or maybe you've made that choice and said, hey, I'm going to pay a premium and I'm just going to listen to one of those satellite stations that allows me to listen to commercial free radio. Uninterrupted entertainment. ADD is really a way of life. Why? Well, let's think about it. Every day we're bombarded with advertisements, phone calls, emails, and who knows what else, thousands of times a day. I mean, we do all we can do just to get through our day. In fact, psychologists said we really are becoming a society of deletion creatures just to make it through the day. I mean, that means we're not going to listen to a lot of things. We see things that don't interest us, we just pass it by. And as business people, we're working our you-know-what's off trying to get the attention of our potential clients. And it's getting harder and harder because we fall into that deleted creature category. This is why we at Swing Point Media do what we do, to help bridge that gap in that attention deficit disorder. The good news is, there is a place where people are hanging out. Do you know where that is? It's on the internet. But you know, here's the thing. We don't control the airwaves anymore. So if you go on the internet and you start communicating with people on the internet, and you don't treat them with respect and dignity, guess what? you're going to get deleted. If you use that old-fashioned selling technique of trying to buy, you know, push your buying and pushing the technique, you know what? If we become annoying, they just delete us. This again is why we do what we do at Swing Point Media. We help broaden that attention span between you and your potential customers. We take communication very seriously. In fact, we decided to look at all forms of the communication we felt were the best. Now, was it texting? No. How about emailing? No. Nope. Billboards? Well, hardly. But it is a very visual answer. Harvard Business tells us if we use this technique that we can increase the attention and uh, retention of our audience from 20% when people reads our message up to a whopping 70%. So the second critical reason is we no longer use these long boring, detailed bits of information to communicate with our audiences. I mean, you know the ones, brochures, all that written content on our, our websites, and of course, you guessed it, those newsletters. We don't use those anymore because, quite frankly, our customers, your customers, they don't have the time and we just get deleted. Now, don't get me wrong. I think all these are appropriate. In fact, we use all of them when it makes sense. Okay, maybe not the billboards, but when we want to make sure that our message is meaningful, impactful, quite frankly, opened and listened to, we use a different method. Instead, we use video. Now, while it's a tool, it too must be used appropriately. In fact, if it's not, we fall into that category again. 
we can just be deleted. So we want to make sure to use video properly. Now we already talked about the fact that using video increases retention from 20 to 70 percent. That's powerful, but there's more. The next compelling reason is a fact that allows your customers a chance to test drive you before they either pick up the phone and call you or they come into your business. They get a chance to see you, who you are, what you do, and are you right for them. Now I have to digress a moment because we talked about people being on the internet and that's a great place, but here's the thing. 90% of all activity on the internet is for search. They're looking for you. They're looking for each and every one of you. But here's the deal. If you use old-fashioned methods, the long written content, you lack the power of wowing them. And just like when you were channel surfing, you were looking for something that caught your attention. When you're flipping through that magazine, you're looking for that picture or that article that grabs your eye. That's the wow factor. That's why we use video. We want to make sure it has wow factor in it. Now, I said earlier, we can't use the old methods of, of selling, selling, selling. We need to build value. In fact, I predict that this will be the new message going into the future. We'll sell through educating and building value with our clients. In fact, let me give you a little story. There was a gentleman, he owned a carpet cleaning business, and his carpet cleaning had fallen off. And he used all the traditional methods. Hey, I'm going to send my stuff out there, I'm going to send those direct mailers. He just wasn't getting much traction. And then he bumped into a guy and he said, hey, you should do what we call educational marketing. We call it content marketing. He started sending something out. He did a little research and found out that he worked on a commercial scale. So he only did uh, carpeting for commercial companies. And he said, you know, it needs to be done at least twice a year. This research showed if they didn't do it twice a year, that kind of nasty, all those mites and dust and all that kind of stuff had a tremendous effect on the workforce and that it had an odor in the air. So now he sent those out to those people and for more information, call me. His business changed because of that article. He never asked them to buy. He provided a reason. He built a reason. That's informational selling. That's value building. That's how we should use video. We at Swing Point Media help you build your business video. Now it's not a commercial. You know, commercials 30 to 60, 90 seconds, and it's all about sell, sell, sell. Our goal is to help you build value so that when people watch that, they're learning more about you, just like that example of that carpet cleaning business. Why would we want to listen to you? Why do we want to come spend our money? In fact, when people watch a video, the big thing about video on your website or any other reason, maybe on your business card, maybe on a flyer, maybe on a brochure, is it allows them to kind of stick their toe in the water, if you will, and find out if they even like you before they make a decision. The cool thing about video is it increases conversion. Now, this is people going from browsing to buying by as much as 64%. That's powerful. That's before you ever have to do anything. So when the chances are when they're walking in your store now, picking up the phone, calling, they're already pre-sold because, again, what are people doing on the Internet? They're searching and researching. So the internet is powerful. Our specialty is creating one to three minute videos. Now, that's a sweet spot because what we found is in that same research, if you keep a video under three minutes, 85% of those who start watching it will watch it in its entirety. That's amazing. Imagine how many times we're listening to the radio and we flip it off or we watch a TV show and we're flipping it off because we're interrupted by a radio or, or by a commercial. Video is powerful. Now in closing, if you forget everything I told you at this point, I want you to remember, in a three minute video, it's the same information packed into three minutes that would have taken me 30 minutes to read. Now let me ask you a question. Would you rather watch a three minute video of a business owner and them telling their why, and you see the passion in their eyes, you hear the commitment in their voice, that they want to do business with you, you want to do business with them? Or would you rather read for 30 minutes what you could have listened to and watched in three minutes, and oh, by the way, Harvard says you're going to forget 80% of that information, or would you rather watch the video? That's right. I think I'd watch the video too. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Harrison with Swing Point Media, 
And that's what we do. We help bridge that gap between attention deficit disorder and turning a browser into a buyer.